let's go on. So I just got done reviewing Gumo, and I just decided, you know, I might as well do um, a Harmony Corinne um, marathon thing, even though these are probably the only two movies I'm going to review from him, um, because I, I don't think the other movies he's done are worth reviewing, but these two, because these two are definitely the most interesting ones that I've seen, of course. I still haven't seen Spring Breakers, but I'm definitely working on that. But, um, yeah, so this next movie from Harmony Corinne that I'm going to review for you is a little film called Trash Humpers. You heard that, right? The movie's called Trash Humpers, and it is... A movie about trash humpers. <laughs> if you guys did not see my review for Gumo, um, I, basically I talk about Harmony Corinne and how I like him as a filmmaker. Um, he's very unique, very strange, probably one of the strangest filmmakers out there today. Um, and I appreciate his work, even though sometimes I can't really say I enjoy, or I, yeah, I can't really say I enjoy watching these movies, or I can't really say that I think his movies are good. Um, they're very interesting, and I, I just can't help but to watch all of them, because I think he's a very interesting man. But Trash Humpers is a very interesting film, as you can probably tell by the title. Um, this movie... <laughs> Trash Humpers, much like Gumbo, is a movie that really, um, does not have a very straightforward plot or narrative. Um, it's just basically a movie about a bunch of characters just doing stuff, and that's usually what every Harmony Korean movie is. But what's very interesting about Trash Humpers is that the entire film was shot and edited on uh, VHS, which I think is very interesting because the entire film, like I said, is shot and edited on VHS. The movie looks very grainy, very old, and it just gives you this like feeling of you're watching a, a home video. But basically what this movie is about is about a bunch of elderly people going out and just being a bunch of rebels, you know? They're humping trash cans, they're doing other stuff, they're just doing a bunch of crazy antics and stuff, and you know, pulling pranks on people, they're just it's just a big group of elderly people and they're just doing all these bad stuff. I really don't know how to describe this movie to you at all, to be honest. It's just, you gotta see it for yourself. Now, um, this is a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> I mean, not really, but, um, the, these are not actually elderly people. These are just people, um, normal, normal age people just in masks that portray elderly people. And it's very creepy, honestly. It's, it's very unnerving um you know the way they look it just it's kind of i don't know it just gives you this really kind of unnerving feeling but yes this film is very strange um it's just a bunch of random scenes that don't really connect that don't really make sense it's just these people running around doing crazy stuff and it's like oh hey look at me look how Look at how crazy I am. Look at all this crazy stuff that I'm saying. Like, what the hell is going on? I do gotta say, though, there is a couple of parts in this movie that did have me laughing out loud. Uh, there's a lot of very funny parts in this film. Um, uh, of course, they're intentionally funny, but just there's a lot of parts that really made me laugh. I, I enjoyed watching those funny parts. Mainly because it's funny because it's just very absurd and it's just a premise of it. There's there's no premise but just the entire movie very absurd you know it's just the entire thing is just very weird and I don't know how to describe it to you which is why I'm having a hard time reviewing this. There are some very interesting things about this movie actually. I'm actually gonna read you um, this little this little trivia here on IMDb. Let me read that to you right now says Harmony Corinne had at one point considered leaving the film on unmarked VHS tapes left in random locations to be discovered as a mystery to the unsuspecting public. This idea was however abandoned when such a release strategy would mean the film would not retain copyrights. So uh, I think that is very interesting. I think that's quite hilarious and it's a, it, it just kind of, that, that right there describes the kind of person who Harmony Corinne is. He's just a big a strange man and I just that's why I love him <laughs> but yeah the movie there there's there's really there's no meaning to it there's no plot it's just a bunch of characters doing crazy stuff um I, I guess it's kind of entertaining I mean it, I, some parts it is very boring um but I think it is definitely worth a watch it's worth watching at least once um just because of how strange it is. I think it is definitely a movie that everyone needs to see just to, you know, whether they love it or hate it, I think it's a movie everyone needs to check out because it's just so strange 
and so different from all the other stuff that you see nowadays that it just kind of has to be seen. But yeah, guys, that's really all I got to say for Trash Humpers. Um, it's just, that's it. It's all I got to say. It's just a very weird movie. Um, overall, I'd probably give the film a th three out of five just, just because I don't, it's not good. It's not a good film. It's not a bad film. It's just a movie. Very different. It's worth watching. I don't know. It's just... Watch it. <laughs> yeah, guys, Trash Humpers, check it out if you want to. If you don't, I understand there are people who despise this movie, much like most Harmony Korean movies, much like Gumo. Um, people do not like this movie, and I can definitely see why, but still gonna recommend it. I don't know, just because it's weird, and I think it's worth a watch. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I am Jacob Palacio, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>